Spring is in the air. New jobs are abounding everywhere. Yeah. The orange blossoms are, you can smell the fragrance. It's great. <sighs> Love it. So it's new jobs, a new spring flush of growth. That's right. So it's important to get a job off to the right start, right? Why? Why not? Don't you just show up and start working? I don't think so. Ah, oh, come on. It's Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. Head Harvester Fred Haskett from the Mid Coast. And our topic today is onboarding what we affectionately call new job startup. It's one of our best business practices, Harvester Fred. Right? Absolutely a best practice. So let's give some basic tips here. Have a specific checkoff list for, for your startup, right? It's simple as that, the areas to cover. Establish what's going to happen, who's going to do what, and when are they going to do it. And then I think it's really important to assign a marshal or a captain that marshals the whole process. Oh yeah, someone's got to be in charge. You know, also, your administrative people have a part of this startup process as well. They need to capture the contact information, the phone, email information. They got to have on the checklist, do we have a signed agreement? Has it been returned? And uh, you got to start that new job file, order the insurance certificates, get the account set up for billing. There's a lot of stuff to properly onboard a job. A lot of administrative stuff, right? Absolutely, a lot of paperwork. So let's talk about some client touch points. You should probably do a client welcome letter. Welcome to the team. Uh, make sure that gets out there and received, mm -hmm. right? Maybe to start doing the client profile. So you're listing some some items of that they want, the do's and don'ts, and the likes and dislikes, right? Yep. Have a startup walk. Meet the client and review the job, what the existing conditions are, mm -hmm. and then follow up with a courtesy phone call. And then I'd say after 90 days, the first 90 days, do a survey of your client, see how you did on the startup. And then at the end of one year contract, do another survey. Absolutely, absolutely. You can never survey enough. Now there's some operational stuff too. You need to make sure that you took startup photos, the before and after stuff. You need to make sure the crew leader is properly assigned. Mm -hmm. You need to have a 30 day startup action plan for the crew and the account managers to follow. You need to schedule your site visits so they're embedded and routine. And you need to schedule the spring cleanup and you need to schedule the irrigation startup. All those things need to be written down and documented. Okay, so we have administrative, we have client touch points, we have operational. Now let's move over some initial property inspections, right? So we, we'd suggest you do a quality counts review. You know, have a measurable, quantitative measure of the quality, existing conditions, how you receive the job. Uh, is there any missing or declining plant material? Are the mm -hmm. plants dying? Are they living? Is the irrigation working? Uh, missing plants, insects, diseases, and other obvious problems. And photo document the job, even video. Maybe even put a drone on and check it out. What do you think of that? You can't do enough of that can't stuff. Can't ever do it. Okay, now here's a bonus tip. If the client contact changes, start all of this over again, especially the client touch points, because everything changed and you need to reestablish your relationship with that client. So use your process to get that going again. So, and if you want to learn some more, there's a sample checklist for onboarding new jobs in the Harvest Academy. Yeah, so let's go get on board. Shall we think Harvester Ed's out there already on board? Hey yeah, guys, yeah. Hey guys. There he is right now. Yeah. There's Harvester Ed right there. Hey. I love the video, I love the video. Thanks for coming on board. I just want to know when are we going to get on board and yeah. go to dinner. That's what I want let's to know. Let's get out of here. We're going to go oh, on board let's go dinner come first. On. Oh, oh, hey, let's go out on this boat first. Hey, aren't yeah. you glad? I like that idea. Aren't you glad you're in Orange County? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs>